Okay, so this is a 35-year-old uh, um, lady who had an injury six weeks ago uh, in a gym. Sorry, four weeks ago in a gym and uh, jammed the left uh, little finger into the ground. So you can see clearly what's happened is, is, is that she has had an abduction injury and had an a, a, a avulsion type fracture of the radial collateral ligament as it inserts into the base of the uh, proximal phalanx. So at one stage, this proximal phalanx went all the way across uh, and now she sustained a fracture. The hard indications to fix this fracture would be if it involves more than 20% of the joint surface, and that's really on the edge, or if it's more than one or two or three millimeters displaced. Now, I'm sure there are many surgeons who might consider fixing this, but we decided to be uh, conservative uh, and not operate on this particular patient. If you look at her hand now, um, you can see at four weeks, she's doing fantastically open up and close. She can make a full fist, which I can promise you, you would, she would not be able to do if you had operated on her at this stage, uh, and just open up again. And that collateral ligament is stable both in extension and most importantly in flexion. The completely static endpoint with no pain whatsoever at, six, at, um, at, at four weeks. Uh, what is interesting though is if you look at the x-ray now, uh, you'll see a delayed union uh, at four weeks. But this is completely non-tender and it is in keeping with a typical hand fracture which takes a while to show uh, callus and complete bony union. So yes, you could argue that there's been displacement of this fracture, but I know from experience that this patient will do fantastically well with a full uh, range of motion, no long-term arthritic problems, and, uh, and she will likely progress to union. Uh, a repeat x-ray will be taken in six weeks' time just to confirm union.